All right, welcome back. Got a different styled video coming at y'all in this one. This is going to be a mashup of three different dive days. Um, reason being, these are some clips from the lost videos that we lost in the hard drive crash. And these were just some highlights I had saved on my phone, thankfully. And I figured I would just put them together and make it into like a montage style video. Unfortunately, I don't have the full day's worth of footage to really show you guys the full story and give context for everything that happened, but we've got some snippets to, uh, to share that were kind of some highlights. So that's what this video is. Uh, it's gonna be three different days. The first one, I was actually going out on the hunt for my first African Pompano still. Early on, I had a run in with a stud. I went down, I set up on one of those horizontal beams on, one, on the outside of a rig leg and a stud came cruising by way outside from us. Unfortunately, it never even, you know, turned to get any closer to come into range, and it was just too far. Other than that, I saw a cobia. It came up from way down deep for a brief moment, and then went back down. And then I saw some cuberas, one of which actually came right up to me, checked me out, and then turned broadside. Kind of swam back down super super cool run in uh, but i did not pull the trigger that entire day i was really out kind of trophy hunting looking for that first african pompano maybe the cobia uh if it had presented the shot but they didn't and uh kuberas were were nice but they weren't any any mega so um yeah the clips you guys are going to see from the first trip are going to be after i kind of call it quits on the spear fishing and I decided to just start filming. There was a bunch going on in the rig and I just wanted to capture kind of all the life and how crazy it was this day. So that's that. I'm gonna add some, some captions to give you guys a little bit more context on it, uh, kind of what we saw and what was going on. But yeah.
Second trip was out on a buddy's boat. We went fishing and scuba diving. Early in the day, we got into a bunch of mahi. It was epic. And then later, we did a scuba dive. Coolest scuba dive I've ever done. Uh, there was tank amberjack swimming all over the place, snapper everywhere, all sorts of different fish. Um, but the clip you guys are gonna see where it's gonna pick up at is on our scent whenever I was doing my safety stop. I had shot a red snapper with this gun right here, and I actually just had it strung on my shooting line right here. I'm showing you guys the gun for a kind of a size reference. But basically, um, while up suspended away from the structure, having this snapper kind of wave in the current while I was sitting there, caught the attention of a big sandbar shark. And that's really all I'm gonna say about that. You guys will see it. You might have seen this clip if you follow me on Instagram. I posted it a while back. But yeah, it was quite the run in, quite uh, an event. That was the second day, the only clip I had from that day. The last clips you guys are gonna see are actually all of Captain George Brown's footage, uh, his point of view from a day we went out diving together uh, where I had actually lost all of the, the footage that I took from my GoPro. So figured I would share that as well, just to show you guys the awesome stuff that we were diving. And uh, he got some really good clips. So had quite a bit of footage from that, so yeah. I'm just going to let all of this roll montage style. I'll put some captions to explain a little bit throughout, but that is the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, remember to hit that like button and yeah, let's get into it. First fish of the day. We thought it was going to be a giant, but... Tail wrapped and energetic. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's like smart, but not that smart. Not like being looked at. Yeah. yeah. All right, right at the beginning, he swam right up. I was like, oh man, easy. But then I was like, maybe I missed my opportunity. <laughs> Dude, those are school of kingfish. Yeah. Crazy. Slime logs, like huge ones. It's like already, it's like already I've seen so much crazy stuff.
Nice. <laughs> Dude, he went in bad. I was like, oh no. So yeah. I saw him come up to you and I was like, he's waiting for it to swim away from the legs, waiting for it to go to the outside. <laughs> Dude, he got so tangled up and then he swam out all yeah. really hard. He almost ripped himself. Yeah, that's why I shot him. Yeah, thanks, man. Man, stud mangroves. Like stud mangroves. Just, I mean, like five or six, so like 28 inch maxed out. <laughs>
walk through that mangrove school, those mangroves underneath those bars that are real tight. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was like I just was thinking about it. I was like world there class. Was a couple out away from the wreck, but... I just the footage alone. Yeah. I mean it's just like people's dream come true right there. Oh, son of Coach Charlie, drives an 87 Harley, sells gasoline and watch you drink 8 to 3 a.m. Got a tattoo for the core, an ex-wife number four, humming along, schooling you on the songs on his station. 